Patients with myobomian gland dysfunction can achieve some relief from symptoms if the blocked oils are cleared from within the glands. Forced emptying of the glands is termed therapeutic myobomian gland expression and can be undertaken in office by the eye care professional. To facilitate expression, the glands are first of all warmed to melt the oils. Practitioners can choose from a wide range of devices that are available to heat the glands. A gland temperature of 40 degrees Celsius is desirable. When the glands are warmed sufficiently, a drop of topical anaesthetic is instilled in both eyes. Although this has minimal numbing effect on the eyelids themselves, it helps the patient to remain still and refrain from excessive blinking throughout the procedure. The gland content are expressed by compressing the glands and forcing the softened material towards the gland orifice. With the patient seated at the slit lamp, some practitioners apply firm digital pressure to the external eyelid. However, care should be taken not to place excessive pressure on the globe. Compressing the internal and external lid surface between two cotton-tipped applicators can also work, although more popular is the use of a smooth metal paddle on the inner lid combined with a cotton-tipped applicator or digital pressure on the external surface as the paddle provides a more rigid surface against which to apply pressure without affecting the globe. With the paddle situated behind the lower lid, the cotton-tipped applicator should be rolled upwards to encourage expression of the gland contents. The paddle and cotton-tipped applicator are moved progressively along the lid to express each of the glands in turn. While relatively firm pressure is often required, the force that can be applied will be limited by the patient's pain threshold, as this procedure is uncomfortable. Patients should be warned that tenderness of the eyelids immediately following the procedure is not uncommon and that relief from discomfort symptoms tends to occur in the days following the therapy. Upper lid gland expression is more challenging on account of the rigidity of the tarsal plate and for the sake of patient's comfort, treatment is often restricted to the glands of the lower lid.